what's your favorite type of photography? Is it wedding, fashion? Wedding and fashion. Wedding and fashion. Wedding and fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and magazines. <laughs> we gonna talk about magazines. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Tristan Keith, <laughs> and I'm the lead photographer at Bubble Photography. It was a gift. I, um, I met my daddy when I was 16, 15 or 16, I can't remember. And he asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And um, three years later, he bought me a camera because I told him I wanted a camera. And in the process of me trying to find out how to work the camera, I started getting into taking pictures and you know, trying to do it the right way. And I took some pictures of birds and stuff like that because I was scared to ask people to stand in front of my camera because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so, um, took the pictures of the birds and this lady called me. Well, she inboxed me on Facebook because I was putting them up on Facebook and she asked me, um, can she buy it? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. Really? And that turn on the light that we like you might like, can make some money out of it. Yes, a lot. Cause mm -hmm. the music stuff wasn't paying no bills. Mm -hmm. Um and everybody wanna be a rapper. So everybody get put inside that same category. You just one of them guys that wanna be a rapper. Even if you sound like something. Um so I left that alone and started doing photography and it it just started moving. Um I really started with um, Roger Samuels. He got a Barber Institute in Somerville, mm -hmm. and he reached out to me, and I started taking pictures for him and taking pictures of hair and his, uh, his students, helping them with their portfolio. And so I, I really kind of started out with That's that. That's how you. Went to YouTube University, <laughs> and I had a, a notepad and a pencil, and I studied and studied and studied. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but it was two white guys. Um, they travel all over the world taking photos, and I like their style of taking photos. It's a softbox, flash type of, you can take it anywhere mm -hmm. type of pictures, and mm -hmm. they take amazing pictures. So I took their style of taking pictures and um, ran with it. And I mean this in the, the, the sweetest way possible. Don't go to school. <laughs> I agree. Because it's a waste of money. Um, a lot of stuff you got to be in the field and a lot of stuff you can learn mm -hmm. I mean because even if you go to college they're gonna make you learn mm -hmm. they're gonna make you uh, study and you got to go and read the book and read the chapter and do that this, this and third so yeah don't waste your money learn okay. your camera mm -hmm. learn the three major learn the triangle mm -hmm. aperture shutter mm -hmm and ISO, mm -hmm. learn how to control those in any type of location and situation and you will go far. Mm. The 467 new photographers every <laughs> Christmas, because they kind of they kind of come and then they kind of underball or undercut mm -hmm. you with the prices. So, mm -hmm. you know, they just get a camera for Christmas, now they're a photographer. Yep. And, <laughs> and and now they um and now they you know reaching out to people that they know me maybe they came to you and they telling them you know I'll take your wedding pictures for fifty dollars mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying exactly. so of course you can go with that it don't matter if it look like something or it don't look like something mm -hmm. but other than that I mean it's not hard it, it nothing's hard if you love doing it and I love doing it be specific in the contracts mm. be very specific. Very specific. If something happened and you don't like it, put it inside the contract. Mm -hmm. If somebody late and you don't like that, that's a pet peeve of yours, mm -hmm. you tell them I'm charging you $50 extra if you're, late, if you're 15, 30 minutes late. Mm -hmm. Take notes of that. Everything that you don't like, put it inside the contract. Mm -hmm. I'm, a guy house, um, Anthony Finkney, he really helped me with that. He's a business major, graduated from um, Lillamont, and he wanted to come along and flex his um, degree muscle. <laughs> Inside my business, yeah. I mean, not like that. Oh, okay. Again. It sounded crazy. Go no. ahead. I, I get it now. I know yeah. that's who you're going with. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he wanted to, you know, get inside it, and he helped me a lot with all that. No. They already have. They love taking pictures. Oh, they good. come with me to shoots and mm -hmm. take pictures. Mm -hmm. um, my oldest one, her first 
one was at a church. She took pictures at a church, and my youngest one, she. So I keep them with the pictures that I tried to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they like taking. And they take real good pictures, to be honest. A lot of plans, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to do take one step at a time because I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, there's, a, there's a lot that I want to do and a lot that I have to do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, probably in three years, I would see myself on. Um, I wouldn't say three years. I'd probably say like five or six years. I'd probably see myself only doing um, fashion, magazines, and weddings only. Hmm. Wouldn't do no parties, no none of that stuff. Just doing those and being lucrative in that area. So, and we let me out. see what it is. Syllabus Magazine. <laughs> you know I love you. You know I love you. You sure love it. When nobody else showed me love, you showed me love. I want you to do the cover. What? <laughs> me? <laughs> and we Let me out. see what it is.